if you want to access a Windows application on a Chromebook is you could use a remote desktop. You can remote desktop into a Windows server if you wanted to set one up on Google Cloud Platform and then just dial into it from your Chrome device. As long as your internet connection is reasonably decent, it's fine. Can we install Windows on an external hard drive and boot Windows from it on a Chromebook? If you know about it, please uh, make a guide. No, no, not possible with a Chromebook. Someone may have got it working, but if you've got a Windows app that you wanna use, like the Microsoft version of Word, you can totally run that on a Chromebook using Crossover. So what's Crossover? Crossover is a specialized little bit of it's based on open source software and it basically gives you like, you could call it an emulator. I don't know if that's the, the technical word for what it is, but what it lets you do is effectively run Windows apps on Chrome. Now, I don't know why you'd want to, but for some businesses, they've got that one app that they can't let go of. They really want to switch to Chrome, but they just can't. Check out Crossover. It's at codeweavers.com. Yeah, it effectively lets you run applications on your Chrome OS device. Whether they're a Windows application, I don't know if they do Mac applications, but that's pretty cool. Now, your second option, if you wanna access a Windows application on a Chromebook, is you could use a remote desktop. You can remote desktop into a Windows server if you wanted to set one up on Google Cloud Platform and then just dial into it from your Chrome device. As long as your internet connection is reasonably decent, it's fine. Interestingly enough, people think, oh, it's on the other side of the world, it's gonna be clunky, you know, it's gonna stream all that video. The remote desktop protocol is actually extremely efficient and many people will use remote desktop to do all of their day-to-day -day work in many areas of the world. The thing that matters is less your internet speed. Speed is of course important, you can't be that bad, but your latency is the most important because that's gonna register things like you know button clicks of the mouse going back and forward. Latency is the speed it takes to get from where you are to the other side and back again. You wanna do things like Avoid Wi-Fi if possible and use plugging into a um, wire if you can, if you want to use remote desktop. Wi-Fi isn't inherently slow in terms of latency, but it, sometimes if there's poor signal, it can drop packets and that can turn into some latency. As much as possible, obviously, if you've got access to a fiber connection, stick to high-speed internet. That's going to be your best bet to get good performance out of that. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.